This is the uh, function generator I got from uh, Spooky2, and um, actually I'm running it now on both channels. One's going to be a carrier wave, and one's going to be the base signal. And like if you could see the light dim down here a little bit, you could see the red lights are on the, both the remote units. Um, what they do is they contain a uh, sample of my fingernail clippings and my DNA, so, <laughs> so it's going through Spooky Remote. And... Uh, I'm not using the program itself, I'm just using the generator. So I set the generator on manually. This is 465, that's a general conditions one. That's, I don't know, fungal conditions and a bunch of other things. It's like um, 465, 727, 787, 880, and 20 address a number of common ailments. Um, so, and what I have is channel two. If you notice channel two right here, uh, let me point to it with a, a pen. So, channel two, if you can see that. It's set on square wave. It's uh, 3,100,000 hertz, 3.1 megahertz. Um, 4.52 volts, they said 4.5 volts is optimal. Duty cycle, 50% with a square wave. So that means the square wave is equal going up and down, positive and negative. And the same setting with the voltage, it's 4.5, actually it's 4.52, and 50% duty cycle, positive and negative, square wave, on the base frequency. So, this is working through my DNA, it's working through my, to my DNA by fingernail clippings that are sandwiched between these two circuit boards, and I'm not actually using the program, I'm just using the function generator itself. Um, without actually turning on the uh, program, I got the. Uh, I decided to get another laptop for this specifically. This is a. Um, they said the Spooky Two program was actually developed on Windows Seven Starter, so I got a Toshiba laptop with Windows Seven Starter on it. It's uh, used, but like basically brand new uh, from a computer store, so can't get <laughs> Windows Seven Starter too easily today, but quality laptop with a 250 gig drive and it runs eight hour battery so actually with an eight hour battery I could take this portably with this and run it off the USB and just have this plugged in to a uh, power port I don't even need to use the power computer plugged in and I could run it up to eight hours so but I'm running it just applying straight frequencies but I'm using a carrier wave so that requires the carrier wave is on its separate remote signal. That's this one here. Now, I decided to run for somebody else. Um, this is on a uh, separate generator, function generator I have. Let's see if I can focus this in good. I think it's coming in. There it is. That's clear. You can see it's set on a uh, square wave. That's the first wave on the top. The, um, it's set for 528. 528 is allegedly DNA repair, and uh, 4.5 volts is optimal. I have it on 4.479. It's almost perfect. So I could bring it up just a hair. 4.526. How's that? And that's going through another um, remote device. And let me see if I turn the light down. You can see it's lights up. See it's lit up. It's being powered. And you never want to use these devices when there's not something in between them because um, I'm not sure if it would it could damage the generator after a period of time especially if you got it up on high voltage say for instance you had it up to 20 volts or something like that now this little function generator only goes up to about I don't know six and a half to eight volts or six and a, about six and a half to seven and a half volts but it's plenty to power the remote device, plenty, because the ideal voltage on this is uh, 4.5 volts. Now, um, the advantage of using the 20 volts on this if you want to use the pads and hook up the pads, but you have to be hooked up to the machine. The thing is, with this spooky remote or quantum entanglement at a distance, using your fingernail clippings to encode your DNA to your body, um, you don't have to be anywhere near the machine. You could be any distance supposedly even thousands of miles away now I don't know I you know I don't feel anything and um, I know this has always been 
the catch-all, like you don't feel the vibrations, you don't feel the frequencies like you're using the handhelds. I know this, but um, the feedback has been from users that it does seem to work. Now, I don't know how if it takes a little bit longer to work than using the handhelds or using the pads through the torsos, but the thing is, you don't have to be hooked to the machine. You know, at the, you know, in other words, you could be running this at night. You could be running this while you're at work. You're away from the machine and all this kind of stuff. So I decided to use this in conjunction with the carrier wave because I figured it'll work stronger. In other words, the base frequency is 465, but I also have the carrier wave, which is 3.1 hertz. You can see that on channel two. 3.1 hertz, 3.1 megahertz, excuse me, that's 3,100,000 hertz, 3.1 megahertz, square wave, it's going through this channel here, and if it's not clear that these LEDs are being lit up, you could see if I turn down a light, they are, they are in fact being lit up, so the, function, the devices are being uh, powered up by the generator, and I'm actually not using the program itself, and in this case, this is a generator that's not designed for the Spooky 2 program. It's just applying straight frequencies at 528 to another person uh, with DNA repair, alleged frequency, which is 528. Now, I've heard that, you know, this is kind of like uh, a science that's not in the science of true, um, you know, the big bucks per paid pay professionals, but... The actual alleged DNA re, uh, repair frequency, there's actually a couple of them, but to be more pinpoint accurate, this doesn't actually go to intensive in hertz. It goes in one hertz. This is a cheaper red generator, and I have it plugged into the USB port, so it's being powered by the computer itself. But it's uh, 527.9 versus 528 would be the exact perfect frequency. So... Just want to put this update because actually you could get something like this that's maybe a hundred something bucks and you don't even have and say for instance you want to use it it's battery operated or it plugs into a USB or it plugs into a wall outlet with USB adapter um, you can pretty much use this anywhere and this thing will run several hours just off the batteries and you can power this up with the remote device now, it's not going to be as powerful as using the Spooky 2 program because you're just applying the frequencies straight on. You're not varying the frequencies. You're not using, you know, like the, um, you know, we are trying to vary the amplitude or put it on like the killer frequencies. In other words, if you want to truly really wipe out a microbe, that's what it's supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be varying the frequencies. You're just putting straight frequencies on with a function generator like this, but it's not bad because it's so portable and it's battery powered. So that's another advantage to this thing. So that's another way you can use it. You don't actually have to use the spooky program to use the spooky remote. And since it's, this requires only 4.5 volts, this little thing here has plenty enough power to power it. It's just that you're not using a carrier wave like you're using two signals with this one and you're not, and I don't have this hooked up to the program right now. I even have it hooked up to the computer. I can run the program, but I'm not. I'm just running at straight frequencies right now, but with the carrier wave. And the assumption is that the carrier wave will bring the signal deeper into the body and combined with the base wave where it'll be more effective. So it's an experiment. We shall find out. I mean, I'm not going to be able to say 100% one way or the other, but uh, just, just for your informational purposes, there's various ways of using these spooky remote devices. They're well worth the money at 20 something dollars each plus shipping. And you don't even have to use, you know, I would recommend getting this generator, but if you want to take some kind of generator like this, this will work too. Got this off of Amazon for a hundred something bucks. It's not that powerful, but it's powerful, more than enough powerful to run the Spooky 2 remote. And it can only just run um, one base wave at a square wave and not nothing fancy, but it'll still do the job of powering in a remote device and use your DNA holder. So, I don't know, hopefully I didn't confuse people on this. You probably have to look at another one of my videos how this works, but this actually is a function generator that allegedly can help 
um, destroy microbes that are harming your body. So, um, you know, that's the ticket. You know, the whole thing is that you are not connected to the machine. This is going remotely over pretty much any distance there is using quantum entanglement. It's a theory, but um, the feedback is from people I've heard about is that it works pretty damn well. So I'm going to give it a try in conjunction with uh, using the carrier wave, the carrier wave on this. So carrier wave and a base frequency. And I'm not using the program itself, so I think that might be uh, a pretty slick way of doing it. So we shall see.